Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Calling Eve. It's Valentine's Day week. Well, day, week. You know what I mean. Anyway, I'm super excited because not only do I have my Valentine's Day nails, yes, they are awesome, and they sparkle. I couldn't pick between red and pink, so I did both. I also got my, because I am the ultimate nerd, I did my planner because they match my nails. And for those of us that need to get alive, yeah, not really. Stick to stuff that makes you happy. And I like doing girly crap. That's just how I work. Anyway, it's Friday the 13th today. It is, is, it is not an unlucky day. Today we will be celebrating not only that we're going into Valentine's Day weekend, but that we got a phone call today from the oncologist telling us that our son, who for two and a half years has been going through chemo and treatments for leukemia, I think I can actually hear him singing outside, um, is done. So we are finished with chemo. We are super, super excited and really happy and going to definitely be celebrating this weekend. So, um, with that, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been praying for us and kept us in your thoughts for two and a half years. It's it's really meant the world to us to have so many amazing people around us throughout this. That being said, I just want to uh, to challenge you guys, give you a Valentine's Day challenge. Um, the challenge will be to this week, this weekend, which is Valentine's Day weekend, and for a week ahead, I think, because, you know, give you people some time because sometimes stuff takes longer. Um, show appreciation to somebody that you love. I know that's really easy to say, but it is so, so, so common that we forget to tell the people that we really, really care about, that we really love, how much we actually love them. And to do it in a way that is important to them. A lot of times we might be like, well, you know, this is what I would like. I would like to, you know, get a box of chocolates or, you know, I think I read somewhere it was somebody said that, um, there's this woman and she was really, really, really confused because, you know, her husband had a really, really rough week. So she, you know, when he came home, she lit candles and got him a bubble bath and, and roses. And he was like, really, honey? I don't want bubble back with the roses. I want to go out and shoot something. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, we all have different ways of, of, uh, of feeling that we are loved and different things that we need. And, and so my challenge is try to love somebody, show somebody that you love, that you love them in a way that you think they would like to be loved. Um, there's another book that I want to recommend this week called The Five Love Languages, which is written by Gary Chapman. And um, it's an amazing book. They actually have the five love languages. And they also have, for those of you out there who are parents, they have the five love languages for children. And they do have it in Swedish as well. Kärlekens fem språk heter den. It's a really, really cool book because it talks about how, as different individuals, you know, we all have different ways of giving and receiving love. Uh, the, the template that he works out of, Gary Chapman, is that there are five ways which we, I mean, we all sort of, we all need all of them, but we usually have one or two that are our primary love languages. I think the first one is words of affirmation, compliments, you know, oh, I really like your hair. That's a great shirt on you. That is really a good color with your eyes, you know, that kind of stuff. To some people, that you know, that really warms their hearts and it's something that really just feeds them energy and makes them happy and feel loved. Other people might be like, okay, thanks, that's nice, but um, where's the chocolate? Where's the flowers? You know. Um, then there's acts of service. There's another one. Honey, I'll do the dishes. I know that you've had a rough day. Let me take care of this. To some people it means a lot. To other people, that's not how they want to be loved. There's also receiving gifts which is, I think a lot of us think that that's got to be the ultimate, you know, romantic. I gave her a bunch of red roses, you know, and she didn't appreciate it. Well, you know, some people it means a lot to, others not so much. Quality time, having time to sit down with a person and feel like you're the center of their universe for however long it is, on a special date night or whatever, or just to sit down for a cup of coffee and feel like you have their undivided attention. 
That can be one of the hottest things ever, seriously. And then there's physical touch. Because who doesn't like it? I mean, seriously. Um, so, but, but for some people it matters more and for some people acts of service, you know, might be weighing heavier when it comes to feeling love. And a lot of times we will show love to those people around us in the way that we want to be loved. Um, if, you know, if words of affirmation are, is the way that I, you know, feel loved, then I'll be showering people around me with compliments because I want to show them how much I love them. But if that's not their primary love language, they might not be getting it. Seriously, it's like we're talking different languages here. So what I'm saying is try to, I would really, really suggest going into five love languages.com five with the actual number five. I will, I'll put it down here in the, in the, on the screen. But, um, Five love languages, uh, dot com, and because you can you can check out the entire concept there, and it's really really cool because you can apply it in your relationship with your friends, with your family, with your spouse, or with your children, or your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend. I was gonna say dog, but probably not. Uh, but basically, it's something that you can apply to every relationship that you have in your life. And um, learning to speak somebody else's love language can really do amazing things for your relationship. So, challenge for this week is shower somebody with love. Show appreciation and show love to the people that you really care about. And uh, I hope you guys have an amazing, I was going to say Friday the 13th, no. Amazing Valentine's Day. And um, see you guys next week. Mwah.